Dave's working on the rear fuselage of Phoenix 611. What are you making now? One of these. Something a bit different. And where it goes? It actually goes. I'll see where it goes. It actually sits on there. So what is it? So, so the, the floor sits flat and then when it comes here it actually curves so it, it, the, the floor when it's nailed down actually sits on there and then it just follows the curve there but then it goes flat along that bit yeah. which obviously sits on these yeah. so it's just to support the floor really yeah. French wing NX664. This is rib 5 where the wing tip is bolted to. Well, I'm on some uh, little intercostals. Little intercostals? Yeah, small ones. Oh. They fit in the bottom. Them. You know where those downward lights go? Yes, yeah, the identification lamp. Yep, yeah, they fit in in the bottom either side of those. In fact these two are a map are, are a pair. So they'll fit Terry also working on the NX611. In, in inside that. Yeah. With a lamp in between. And does the fuselage run that way yeah. or that way? Fuse large rooms, these go long, these go in here, so in the in the middle at the bottom, like that. Uh, in there, yeah. well, they have, I haven't got them folded yet fully, no. but that they sit in like that. And they, they connect to the lamp holes. Yes, yeah. they go in that bottom bit. Yeah. And you get the lamp in the middle? Yeah. yeah. And is Gerald still on cleats? I am, sir. You've got a few hundred of them still to do. Uh, yes, keep going till I uh, run out of mist. Everybody but... has to do them. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis is still working on the port side trailing edge, no, making wooden right, patterns no. to produce the ribs. Yeah, well, the French wing NX664. Keith skin pinned in place the first top outer skin ready to be riveted to the top side of the wing. Morning, Keith. Morning. This wing will be fitted to Lancaster Just Jane and it's 611 and Just Jane's wing restored to airworthy condition. Huh? Did you get all your rivet riveting done on the ribs? No. no. You didn't get rib 22 done then? Is that where the plug really? It's screwed. How far are they screwed along the boom? Do what, sorry? You know where the plug rivets are, but they're screwed, aren't they, these? <coughs> Every intersection of the panel has got screws in it. Oh, has it? Yeah. There's another screw there. I see. Because there's, there's, where the two panels join, they put a screw in. It's uh, screws underneath the uh, where the engine point is. Yeah. There's a row, rows of screws there, and then yeah. it goes back to plug rivets. Yeah. And then when you get down to the root end, it's all screws. Yeah. Are you on the doorway, Phil? Yeah, um... Well, because Dave's done all the formers now, uh, Dave's manufactured all these formers and all the stringers uh, are nearly done. Um, now on to the outer skins and also where the flying controls go through these formers, yeah. there's um, reinforcing. So. That, that bracket just here is actually riveted onto the former to give it extra strength 
and these holes here is where the control rods for the tailplane, elevators and the rudder go so control rods go through there and move mm. backwards and forwards so each former on the port side has got extra holes and reinforcing strengtheners here to support the uh, area where the control rods go through. Where the control rods go through, will you drill them now or will you drill them when the compact, when you offer so up the control rods? Rod? Yeah, if you have a look, Dave has already, if you look, put your camera through there. Here's where the, here's where the control rods come through. Here, look, there's the original manufacturer's cutouts for yep, the rudder and the elevator control rods and they go through yeah these formers now what Dave has done is he's left these blank yeah yeah for now yeah. then we will then manufacture the reinforcing plates set them up and then drill them out yeah when we lay it all in and then when you offer the tubes up yeah you'll drill them then will you or no, it'll all be done by measurements, oh, well, uh, yeah. and datums. Yeah. Uh, so that each hole will be datum to each former. Yeah. And we're that good that the control rod would just slip it anyway. Good. <laughs> That's I know the plan. when they did the uh, the uh, old fuse are large. Yeah. They didn't drill them until afterwards because they didn't know when it so fitted in. On the old fuse large, we didn't replace every single former. No. So some of the formers were the original formers that still have the holes in. Mm -hmm. So that actually gave us a good datum yeah. to, to pick up. Yeah. Whereas this is, every one of those formers is, is brand new. Yeah. So now we're going to go off the drawing and datum off the drawing. Yeah. Um, on the one that was there, yeah. on, the, on Jane, it was the Canadian one, where they actually, these formers on the British were two C-sections. That's right, yeah. Bolted together. Where yeah. on the Canadian one, it was actually four sections that were all riveted together. So you had a centre line join on the Canadian one all the way down, and we datumed off that. Yeah. So here, we're going to have to do the datum from, from the drawing. what the drawing yeah. specifies. Yeah. So we wouldn't offer up a, we need to offer up a true edge. You wouldn't offer up the rod. Because no. the rod's got a slight curve in it, you see. Yeah, yeah. So um, this is going to have to be done yeah. absolutely right and yeah. perfect. It's in accordance with the drawings, basically. And, uh, there's not any margin for error, really, no. on those. So uh, how much clearance is there on the tubes to the holes? It's actually quite a lot. Each um, On the tube that goes through um, some of the formers, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's about three eighths of an inch yeah quite big yeah, but on so some of the three formers that's so right if it's, if it's However, in the center. some of the formers have got the bearings in oh, so yes. the bearings are the ones that actually support the rods yeah and um, all these other ones there's yeah. only about three bearings down there yeah. that actually carry the weight of the rod yeah all these others are just holes for it to move through yeah yeah in actual fact i'll show you a bearing on the So um, these are the holes that the rods go through. Now there you go. Look, that is that is one of the bearings. You see, the, the rod there is actually goes into a square shape. So the bearing is supporting us. The, the rod is square where it's taking that weight. So there's each of the um, certain points. There's another bearing there. This is former. Uh, what we've got here, former 33 has got its own bearing, and then there's another bearing at uh, this is former 32, and so those bearings yeah. you know, take the weight of, and the, of, the, of the bearing. Make sure so, this is being runs. done to the book for the drawings. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. So, these datums here for the positioning of the formers, yeah. you can see there's a datum there, this is the word datum. Yeah. So the datum is there, is taken from that position on that former, and you can see the centre line of that bearing there is, um, it says there, 12 inches. So that's a vertical 
That is from the centre line, yeah, the centre line of there. The centre line of that is 12 inches, and it is another datum there, which is 19.25 inches. Yeah. So all the datums are on the drawing. We've we've just got to transpose those datums onto the formers and do. And the bearing and the holders, are they any good? Can you use them? Um, those have, have yet to be uh, examined and signed off now. Yeah. So we've got them stored safely. Yeah. Um, that is a, that is a casting. Yes. And the yeah. inside there is a piece of felt, and the felt has got um, oil on it, like same sort of oil that you'd have on a bicycle chain. Yeah. And that oil then, it's like a wick. It holds the oil, and then the control rod wipes on yeah. that felt so seal. So that's the only thing. It what um, as, a, as a bearing like it's the there's bearing. also another surface as well as that oil oil seal there's also something called Paxlin and it's um, a bit like Bakelite it's a it's a, a very early form of composite material yeah. um, called Paxlin it's effectively cotton fibers laid together in an in a in a epoxy resin so that is actually that way you've got the, the control rod is aluminium but it's just rubbing there yeah. on a equivalent of wood really yeah. so the sacrificial part becomes the um, the wood part which is the um, Paxilin. Yeah. Paxilin wears away yeah. not the control rod yeah. and then you can just take this bearing off refit a new piece of Paxilin, new piece of felt seal and then you, you, you know, you're back to your manufacturer. So you can there. get, you've got Paxilin every, all the yeah. equivalent. Yeah, you can buy, still get Paxilin, yeah. and um, we can manufacture the Paxilin, the bearers, should we call them. Yeah. It's not a bearing, it's a bearer. Yeah. Um, it's a sacrificial bearer that can be replaced, and yeah. the control rod stays as it was manufactured. Good. Yeah, so there you go. Very interesting. Thanks, Phil. So you're duplicating this? Yeah. Um, I've done the... Them two are already done. So it's just um, form of 30. But form of 30 to do and 31. Yeah. And that's a lot done. <coughs> so it, it's up to Norm to get his... Um, Finger out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not too good then. I don't know what some of them is. Not very. Say it's been up since Thursday. Can't be. Is it lining up reasonable? These are not. No. Oh, lovely. Right. Terry's applying the bend to the intercostal to connect to the identification light holders. Yeah. Explain about the joggle. Oh yeah, yeah. With the joggling. Yeah. Do it in the end. Oh, that's what I want. Well, did you see where your packers went? I haven't. They're not gone in yet. No, I meant the old ones. The old. Um, there were still some fastened, wasn't there? Here you go. 
Oh, you got one, have you? These stringers were taken off NH611 and have been joggled at the end. Is your pack that's the piece? Yeah. And that's the piece the little packers are being made. Can you just tip it towards me a bit so I've got the other way, please? That's right, now I can see the, it uh, tapering down where the jogger is. Yeah. yeah. I'll just see if I can there's, zoom in. There's another it, one here as well, look, there's two. I'll go for that one, I'll see. If I move them close together, look, you can see them from both angles. You now have elevation and plan view of a jogger. Can you just tip that one a bit more towards me? That's it. Yeah. I can see it now, that's the top one. And just to the right of it, as I look at it, is it's lying in the horizontal position on the other screen. Will you be doing or working all the way along now? Oh, well, I was just going to plug that a section of that, that panel to hold it in place because I've got to take that screw out. Yeah. And if I take that screw out now, it's all going to spring back to where I don't want it. Yeah. So, if I put the plug rivets in, when I take that screw out, it should stay where it is because I've got to put the next panel on, which I, goes where that screw is. Yeah. Overlaps, does it, or goes underneath? Overlaps. Hmm. It always overlaps to the outboard for the for the air, yeah. so it flows off the wing. Yeah. So where the next panel come to? This uh, row of rivets here. Yeah. So it comes to this panel. Comes to there. So you, if you look along, you can tell where the the joins are. You see that it's like one inch spacing, yeah. and then on a, on a lap joint, it's half inch spacing. See this twice as many rivets? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So then they go along, and, it's, yeah. and yeah. then there's the next one. Yeah, this one here, see, yeah. <coughs> this one goes to there, and then there's another one after that that goes from there. To where, and then it goes up to two screws in that one, see it? Yep, I can. Yeah. You could have never made it into a flyer. No. no. You're having to pull it all the time, are you? So when it comes out of the jig at the end here, do you think it'll spring a bit? Well, it's not, no, it's not, um, actually held it it's not actually bolted in there oh it did it used to it used to be up there that, oh <coughs> yeah and i moved, oh, it, cross I moved it down yeah because <coughs> it's right on the right on the spar joint yeah and i wanted it out of the way so and it's this. just it's just an anti-topple stopping it toppling yeah. over at the moment yeah it's we put it through a thing but there's no bolts on it no. Oh. no. I should say there's no nuts on no the nuts. Uh, The bolts have come through but no nuts on yeah. it. Yeah. When we make the ne next bit, it'll be secured top and bottom, that end. Yeah. Which it's not. No. It's just to hold it in place. It's a big structure now, isn't it? Yeah, when it's in here, it's a massive. Fun. Surprise of once you stick that lamp on. Yeah. Top. And then when you think of the trailing edge going on as well. Oh yeah. It's a hell of a structure. The trailing edge is what? Well, the six, nearly seven, the, four, I would say nearly the nearly the depth of the centre for yeah. the wing. Yeah. The trailing edge. Yeah. Here we go, another.